Welcome to the second video for SketchUp modeling with basic shapes. In this video, you will see models that are based on using the circle command and the protractor command. The goal will be to make a visual concept model of a clock as shown here. There won't be much detail, and not much concern with any specific dimensional accuracy. Just a correct visual shape. Here you see a new file with the view in isometric, and the shading is realistic. Also, the camera view is parallel. We don't need the person as a scale reference. Right click and then select the erase command. Or select and press delete. Next we'll start making the clock at the right by using the circle command. Notice that a SketchUp circle isn't really true. You can select how many sides it is made of. A bigger number gives a more perfect circle. In SketchUp, circles usually use a radius measurement. So be sure to input a distance that is half the full diameter. Here, it is a radius of 12 inches. Finally, estimate where you want the circles to be, and make a construction line to mark the radius. Then draw a circle that looks to be the right size. Now we need to mark where the other circles go. Select the protractor tool. Place the protractor on the center point, and then click on the line to line the bottom up with the circle that you made. Clock numbers are 30 degrees apart, so type that in for the angle. You will see tracing marks each time you do this. Continue until all of the circle locations have been marked. Once all of the angles have been marked, and a circle has been drawn on each one, it is time to draw the hour and minute hands. There are no set sizes or dimensions, it is just a visualization. Now it's cleanup time. Select each line that is no longer needed. Right click and erase, or select and press delete. To finish cleaning up, go to the view tab and deselect the axis. We don't need to see them now. He will use the press pull tool that you already know. Pick a distance and press pull the small circles up to that height. When those are all done, press pull the face. You can add some hands if you want to. And now it looks like the picture that we are trying to model. You're done. But for fun, you can add a visual style. Go to the style tray on the right. Play around with the options and choose something that you like.
with success. You have now seen a demonstration of modeling with circles in SketchUp. Remember to export your work to a 2D image for later use and to also save your file. If you have technical questions, always feel free to contact your instructor.